Hello. Hello. <laughs> Exciting day. Is it's... it a train barn yet? Not yet. <laughs> it's just a barn. <sighs> we have been busy. And as you can see, the train barn is empty. It's probably the emptiest it's ever been. In about 100 years. Yeah, it's about 140 years old, isn't it? Yes. And it's been used for all sorts over the years. When it was a working croft, it had pigs in here, sheep, bar lambs. But now it's more or less completely empty. And we're about to transform it into a huge, well, huge for me, model railway layout. When we moved here 18 months ago, the barn already had a load of old stuff from the previous owners. And we used it as a workshop for the first year. Things like sewing wood and cutting skirting boards and just repairing things for the house renovation. So we had a huge task on clearing everything out. The first thing we had to do was get rid of all the bits and pieces before we got to the heavy stuff. So things like paint and tools and machinery and the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations. And we had to get them all out of this barn and put them in one of the other barns so that we could clear this one. I thought it was tidy that one now. And then of all the two and all the bits and pieces, we actually wanted to recycle and use as much as we could elsewhere around the croft. Yes. And anything that we couldn't find a use for or that was too old, we just took to the recycling centre and some of that was recycled. And it was actually very little, only probably about 20% that went in general waste, wasn't yes. it? Yes. So I actually think we did quite well. Yeah. I wish I could recycle my brain. Do you fancy recycling my brain with your shafted knees? Shafted? No. <laughs> No. No. That's a pity, isn't it? But once we got all the bits out, it meant that we could start dismantling the big things like the benches and the cage and the wardrobe. And I always think that's a really good way of relieving stress. And there's nothing like waving a sledgehammer about yes. for relieving stress. Something Absolutely. that might have really angered you during the day. Do you know what I mean? Five items or less. Calm down, love. <laughs> so we could smash up to start with the workbench. Yes. Sean got new glasses this week, didn't you? Yes, I got two new pairs. <laughs> so when are you taking them back? After we'd flattened the bench and got it out of the barn, it was it was actually a bit of a sad moment for me. Why? We're dismantling my cage. I know we've only lived here for 18 months, but I've got some really fond memories and videos of me in that cage. He does it on his own. Do you remember that day that he had me strapped up like a Bernard Matthews turkey? <laughs> and all the neighbours, do you remember? <laughs> Before we took it apart, on top of the cage, there was a load of stuff, weren't there? There was. There was some corrugated iron sheets. Oh, God. There were layers of it. It's like, I say, if you don't know what cor corrugated iron sheets are, it's hard enough to say it, never mind show you. It's like them ruffled crisps, aren't it they? It is. But in a square shape and made out of metal, so they would take your teeth out if you tried to eat them. Once we'd got all that down and taken it apart and got it onto the back of the trailer and driven it to the tip and got it all out and put it in the individual little recycling backs of lorries. Backs of lorries? I noticed that Sean's overalls were a lot dirtier than mine. But I did more than you! What's, I don't see the point in buying brand new overalls just to get them dirty. And I don't know who you borrowed these off, but my trouser legs are about a foot longer than my actual leg. It's like my ankles have got giant foreskins. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that! I have to roll them up when I'm about to use it. <laughs> Now that it's all cleared, we're ready for the next phase. 
which is the exciting well i think it's exciting yes because it's the builders are coming in yay the hunky builders hello it's not hunky <laughs> Gonna, He'll watch this. You're going to be disappointed. Sorry, Richard, not you. We meant the other one. We meant the other one. Uh, so what are the builders coming to do? Well, the first phase is to repair the roof. The roof's actually not in that bad a condition. It's the um, support. Most of the roof is good, except for a little piece right above where you are. That's why we're stood here and you're stood there, just in case. And what we think happened is there was a little bit of wood that got some damp and damage to it. And the previous owner... Left Before it. he sold the house, he got up on the roof to paint it to make it look nice for us buying it, but he weighed a little bit too much and it broke the joist, yeah. and it's broke it. So lay off the pies, Amish. <laughs> That's not his real name, but we, we obviously <laughs> we want to buy land off him, so we don't want to upset him. So what's going to happen is the builders are going to come in, they're going to replace the piece of wood that broke, and then four of them are going to stand on each other's shoulders, lift the roof up by a few inches, and move the supports back into the original place, and fix it all together. Once it's all back in place, they can secure it with sellotape and twine. Do you know how I know it's sellotape and twine? Because it's like that song that Cliff Richard sang at Christmas. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Christmas time, Saturday <laughs> time. That's how I know, that's how I remember it. <laughs> you might have noticed the last couple of times we've showed you in here, especially the roof, is that we've got a swallow's nest yes. just up near the light. And we wanted to be really careful not to stop the swallow coming back and nesting. Now, last year it didn't come, did it? No, it didn't. And we waited this year until a couple of weeks after they'd kind of all arrived and started nesting and still no sign. So we spoke to the RSPB and got their advice and they said, well, if it's not been back for two years, you're probably safe to start work uh, and it's not going to do any kind of cause any risk to yeah. them. Um, well, what we've also done is we've put some nest boxes out and around in the other barns and out on the trees. So, just in case they do come back and want somewhere, there's some more places for them. Yeah. So once the roof's fixed, not really with sellotape and twine, honestly, or mistletoe and wine. The next thing we've got to do is remove all of this caith nest stone. Now, there's about four square metres of it to about ship. About four tonnes. <laughs> Weighs an absolute tonne. And we are going to recycle that. We're going to use it elsewhere around the croft. Sean's yeah. going to put some uh, steps going down to the chicken coop. Uh, we're going to put a couple of steps in elsewhere around the croft where it's a little bit... Muddy. Muddy, underfoot. Yeah. So it will all get used. Once that's out, we've got a man with a digger coming. We are. It's only a little digger because it's got to get through this door. <laughs> and it's going to dig out about a foot deep of all the soil that's in here. We're going to shift that to somewhere else on the croft and we're going to use that elsewhere too. Once we've got a foot down, we're going to line it with sand. Then we're going to put a moisture resistant liner, like a membrane on top yep. of that. And then we've got some concrete coming. And it will be quite thick, won't it? About eight, eight inch to 12 inch. I've no idea. Quite thick of concrete. And what that's going to do is it's not only going to insulate the floor, but it's going to give us a nice, smooth, level finish. And that's where work starts on lining out the inside of the barn. Now, the walls are already about 16 feet thick. 16 feet? <laughs> no, a metre. They're about three feet thick. Yeah. The watertight, it's dry all inside. There's no leaks or air or anything coming in. So it's going to be safe just to insulate it and then line it with wood. We're going to replace the old wooden door with a new UPVC door. Yes. And we're going to put a double glazed unit in the window just over there. That's going to keep more heat in. The last time we showed you in here, a few of you mentioned about keeping the roof space nice and high, which would be lovely because it's yeah. a nice old barn. But we need to keep as much heat in as we can. So we're going to have to insulate it really well, which means bringing the ceiling down just a little bit, but we're hopefully going to keep just enough height to make it nice and spacious. Yes. We're still juggling ideas on how to heat this place. Yeah. <clears throat> it is well insulated. The thick walls and then the insulation and the lining and, and the floor, everything that's going to be done is going to be well insulated. But yeah. it's how we then heat it. 
sort of most efficiently yeah. and there's a few options we can do under floor heating under the concrete we could have some sort of air or ground pump heating system put in or we could use solar panels and infrared heating panels there's quite a few choices and we're still kind of juggling the ideas we are so I know quite a few of you have been sending in your ideas, but we're actually going to trust the builder because he's had loads of years' experience. He's done hundreds of these barn conversions, so he knows what will work for us, and I think we're just going to trust his judgment, aren't I we? I think so, yeah. It is absolutely massive in here, <laughs> now that everything's gone. Even when it's lined out, it's going to measure 7 metres in length and about 4 metres in width. The ceiling height is probably, what, 3 metres? Taller than me. But we're going to bring that down, so it's probably going to be about 2.5 metres by the time that it's finished. A few of you asked last time, why aren't we building a garden railway if we've got so much land? The thing is, if you saw the land... You'd understand that it wouldn't be a garden railway, it'd be more like Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure it Beach, wouldn't would. it? It's very our land is very hilly. Luckily it's nice and flat in here. Yeah. So what about the layout then? Because now that we're about to start building, quite a few of you said last time that I should be planning the layout already. You know I don't do things conventionally. Not it does nothing conventionally. I do things how I want to do them. But over on the Train Barn YouTube channel, where you can get a load more information on the plans for this place this weekend, we're actually going to be giving you the chance to get your ideas on how to lay it out. You're so, not leaving it up to them, are you? <laughs> so I'm going to give you, over on the Train Barn YouTube channel, I'm going to give you a plan, a little drawing of what it looks like, where the door is, where the window is, and the space available. And you're going to be able to draw your ideas on how you think the layout should look and Ooh. where things should go. That's Ooh. it, isn't it? So if you want to have a go at that and you want to get involved, go over to it's youtube.com forward slash at the train barn and subscribe. And there'll be a video in a, in a day or two. It might be on now if you're watching it a week later. Might be. And you'll be able to involve yourself with the plans. Sounds ace, doesn't it? It sounds fab. Uh, but that's all for us on Foxes Afloat channel today. Oh, are we done? We're done today. Uh, next time, an update on Sherlock. We've got some building materials for Sherlock's Muse, haven't we? Some of it's arrived. So we'll be showing you some of that next week. We've also got some new chickens coming. I can yeah. show them the chicken dance. The chicken dance? Oh, you'll see next week. But that's it for this one. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to this channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you hit the notification bell... Uh, Sean will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Will I? YouTube have said they've had enough. You can do it from there. Okay, now. I'll do that then. Cutbacks. Saving money. <laughs> if you want to help support the channel, there's a link up above Sean's head to Patreon. If it's not there, because it's only on a few devices, it'll be down in the video description. And you can join and get some exclusive content. Exclusive? Exclusive content. It, it means more rubbish. You can see more of my, my overall foreskin, can't you? On that note, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Ta-ra! We've now been studying two hours. Shush, because it does put me off and it takes longer. Every time you do that, I have to start again. We've now been here three hours. Well, we can stand here till seven o'clock to <laughs> night if you want. <laughs> I've now been studying four hours. Four hours! Four hours. <laughs> More tea, Vicar! He won't put that in. Took it to the to the tip. That, aye, and we'll do we'll do that one again. Speaking of swallowing, uh, there shouldn't be because everything is going to be not wet. <coughs> We're going to replace the old wooden door with a proper hob. We're going to replace the door, the wooden door, with one of them QVC windows. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to replace this old wooden door with a Q, Q with a Q. It keeps saying QVC! We don't even watch it! Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <You ready? laughs>
<laughs> Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're laughing at. What are you laughing at? We're going to replace this old wooden door with one of them new new PVC. <laughs> What's that? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> it's not difficult, is it? You PVC. We're going to replace this old wooden door. It's because I'm meaning to say new you PVC. Do you know what I mean? With the, we're going to replace this old door with a new UPVC and I, I can't get that out. I don't usually have a problem getting it out. We're going to replace this old wooden door with a new new PVC. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to brick it up. <laughs> oh.